It is a big bug. It's been a slow day today. The weather hasn't made it any better. It hasn't rained in a couple days around here. And these Roosevelt really like to, to feed it out in the rain any time of the day. So The conditions are in our favor, but we're scared gonna keep glassing in these clear cuts these these reprods which they absolutely love they're always hiding in in those little trees hopefully later today or hopefully soon we can turn up some elk one behind it. one in the back. There's one in the back. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think it's a two by two. No, I don't think it's a two by two. Be careful. Just check it, and if it is, is it? 
dad found those found those elk again and we watched the video over and we confirmed it was it wasn't a legal bull it was just like a it was like a fork and horn bull um so uh we came to this other clearing and i just spotted a cow she's way off like probably like two miles away <laughs> yeah she's pretty far so we're gonna keep glassing i think probably all night until it's the sunset and it's no legal shooting light We got the first animal spotted of the day. Um, they look to be like two does. I'm gonna just keep glassing and I turn up a buck or other does around them. We saw two coyotes 
in a clearing, but I was gonna shoot him, but I um, didn't want really want to spook anything out of here. My dad said one of them looked like it was carrying something. Uh, there was a lot of bones, tons and tons of bones. It was a, I think a cow elk, probably like a doe or a fawn. It was tons of bones from deer and elk and in this little short, the short little trees. And I guess there's, a, there's tons of bears get. So it's bears and cougars really getting onto the population for the elk and deer. Deer, normally we don't see much deer here. Elk, it's, uh, we see some, but not, not quite as much as we would hope. Not much sign today, so we're just going to get up to the main road and keep on glassing where we were this morning. So we got to the top of this clearing and we're just glassing around and my dad got a doe spotted way out there, probably close to a mile, maybe a little bit more. And that's just with binos. <laughs> so um looks like they just she's just feeding around and stuff. Not doing much. But she doesn't know she's she's in like some really tall reaper just there's just like cliff areas where it's open and she's kind of on one of those but i guess we're just gonna keep glassing we haven't spotted any elk or any deer just this one so maybe now that it starts to get a little bit warmer they'll start to pick up and move or, or they'll start to feed out and we can spot them but we're just gonna take our time pick apart this country and See what's out there. I got another door spotted. This time I spotted it. Just just way in this, like this flat way down here in this canyon. But she's just feeding around. She's just only one down there, so. Thank <laughs> you. 
So I did my dad, we doubled up about two weeks ago. I got my dirt tech field. And not only has he blessed us with being able to harvest animals, but it's just been a, he's been able to make memories with, not only with my dad, but with other, other people just having fun. So gonna get going home and go warm up because it's freezing. I, I don't have a verse to share with you guys today but I do have a question I want to ask you guys. Um, just us as outdoorsmen, just bikers, hunters, fishermen, um, just whatever. We just like being out in the outdoors and I just want to ask you guys a question about um, how the earth came to be just because we spend so much time in, in the in like the outdoors and Just ask yourself what um, how the earth maybe came to be how it was formed How uh, when it was formed like just look at the um, While you're out just look at the creation and see how it came to be how how is it so complex? How things form together how things are like everything comes with each other and just came to form this beautiful thing so I just hope you guys ask yourself that and 
if you guys are actually interested in that and seeing how it was created i encourage you guys to um read the bible and start in genesis when god created started creating the earth and how it came to be and maybe you guys just been wondering that so maybe start with genesis start at the beginning of genesis that's the first book in the bible in the old testament and i and once you're done with that if you feel like you might be interested in in like what how this really came to be uh i hope you guys read uh the gospels uh mark luke john and um and the other one so i just hope you guys maybe are curious and would like to start reading the bible or maybe would like to start a relationship with jesus and accept his wonderful gift of eternal life well i hope you guys had a good new year's good christmas god bless you guys and have a good day